Ryan White here and welcome to High Point Music's online video tutorials. So what if I said if you've never played guitar before that you can from day number one pick a guitar, start learning some stuff and you'll be able to play stuff like this. Let's start living dangerously. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guessed it, we're gonna take you through and learn how to play Cake by the Ocean by DNCE. So this lesson, there's a riff that goes all the way through this song and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, break it into two parts. Okay, I'm also gonna give you guys some basic technique ideas to work with this, and as well as that, some basic practice principles. So you, even from day number one, you can start developing your skills, developing the art of practice, your technique and your repertoire, all in one super jam-packed beginner lesson. Let's jump straight into this intro and get into the lesson. Okay, so the first part of the riff that we're gonna be looking at, we're gonna break it down into eight notes. So we're gonna be using our E string on the top of the guitar like that. And the technique we're going to be using is we wanna be aiming fingertips on our hands in behind the fret markers so you can see this line running down the fretboard okay there are fret markers and we want to be aiming our fingers right in behind it around about halfway and towards that side of the fret not sort of getting back this way because that requires more effort to actually fret the note so just up there okay that's pretty much the technique that we're going to be trying to stick with for today's lesson so let's start learning these notes. So first one, we're gonna start with our open E string, nice and simple. And the second one is an open E string as well. So it goes one, two. Okay, so one, two, just like that. And if you guys can notice, I'm cutting the strings off. I'm just in between the notes. So what I'm doing there is just gently resting my fingers across the string. Not actually pushing them into the fretboard, but just letting them go lazy on top like that. All right, so we go one, two, one, rest, two, one, rest, two. So that's the first two notes we're going to be using for this riff. The third note, we go one, two, third fret. So you can use your second or your third finger. I, did, I made a switch there because this is targeted as a beginner lesson. So let's keep it simple with our second. So we'll go one, two, seventh fret on the guitar. So I'm roughly aiming my fingertip in that fret area. So a really good position there. So one, two, seven, right there. So open, open, seven. All right, so let's count out how many times we're going to hit this seventh fret now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, rest, two, three, four, five, six on the seventh fret. And once more to show you really steadily. One, two, three, four, five, six. After we do that, our first finger comes in and hits the sixth fret following those principles, fingertip and really good fret position there as the seventh note in the sequence. So let's learn that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just like that. So three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the eighth is back to the fifth fret. So we're moving one fret to the left to hit the eighth note there. So let's put that whole first half of that riff together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like that. And last time, so one, two, three, four, five, six, This is a perfect time to talk about practice principles. So what we want to do with this one is just to go nice and steady to learn the notes and the rhythms in an order, okay? So there's no rush. The most important goal for you is to actually get it nice and smooth, nice and correct, just note after note. And then 
speed comes once you get that foundation down. So that's a really big problem that people make, particularly with their practice when they're trying to learn something, is they put speed at the top of the priorities. Our number one priority has got to be getting the notes in order, getting the rhythms understood, and then once you've got a handle on that, speed's the easy part, and it comes quite naturally after that. All right, so let's jump in and finish off the second part of this riff so you guys can start jamming out and playing this awesome little tune. Okay, so our first finger is for the eighth note is already on the fifth fret, and that's where we're going to start for the next part. So we go the fifth fret once more, that's the first note of the second half, and then we go up to the eighth fret. So two, three, four, five, just like that. So fifth fret, two, three, four, five, and once more, fifth fret. Two, three, four, five. Okay, and then after we do that, just we drop back to our first finger on the seventh fret. That's our last note of the sequence. So, fifth fret up to the eighth. Two, three, four, five, six. And then that's the last note that we need for that part. So, fifth. And once more, nice and steady. So, First note. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's jam these two parts together and see what it sounds like. Slow down so you have a bit of an idea with your own practice what you're trying to achieve here. All right, so the first part, so open. open seven, 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 six, five, five, eight, 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 seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and nice and slowly. Last one here. Cool, so what I did there, that's where you want to be first aiming for. So obviously we're going to be playing this a lot quicker once we get it comfortable, but the first step, the first goal we want to set ourselves is just being able to chip through something nice and steady, nice and slow like that, and before you know it, bam, you're going to be playing all the way through this one, and the speed's going to come quite effortlessly. But you've got to remember, the first thing we've got to do, people, is get that foundation first, okay? So there you have it, your very first guitar lesson where you've covered, you've started learning a riff for a really relevant tune that's going to be a lot of fun to play. You've got some technique work there with your fingertips in behind the frets and also some basic practice principles. So if you appreciate the content of this lesson, hit those like, subscribe and share buttons. Really appreciate everyone out there flinging this stuff around on the internet to share what we're doing at High Point Music. Also, if you've got a question or any tunes that you want to learn, techniques, repertoire, anything you would like to quiz me about, send an email to learn at highpointmusic.com.au. That address is going to be in the description below this video or just follow the links if you're watching this on the blog on the website. Also, if this is your first lesson, there's a free members area at highpointmusic.com.au. There's heaps of cool little extras that go with these online tutorials. It's completely free, only takes a minute to sign up for, so make sure you get along and sign up to that. And on top of that, if you want to support what we're doing, you can send us a donation via the PayPal donate function. It could be a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you feel this content is worth to you. So practice up. Really take these principles to heart and follow them. And I guarantee you, if you just take your time and be persistent with this one, not only are you going to be jamming out this awesome little tune, but you're going to have a great time doing it. So practice hard, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next online tutorial.